What's up guys, Nick here, today we're going to talk about Premiere Pro because last week, uh, literally probably like a week ago, I started making a little series. I downloaded the free trial of Premiere Pro, I got it for 7 days. You know, I downloaded it because uh, I wanted to see how it is. I started a series giving my opinion about it each day and uh, I can tell you I'm not that happy about it. So basically, my free trial is over. Like, okay, it's over and I am not impressed. I'm not going to be buying it. Like, day one, the first two days, I was like, this is, like, I was really happy with it. It started going downhill quick. So, when I actually started getting into doing a regular video, like actually exporting it, instead of having to save there for like seven days, that's where I started to run into a lot of the problems. So, uh, the export like whole thing, that's pretty simple. Like, you, know, you just choose, my mic hasn't been plugged in, oh my lord. Sorry if the audio quality was like really, really bad, because I didn't even have my mic plugged in. So anyway, continuing on, yeah, export was pretty simple, but... One, it took forever. I literally sat to render in my sleep to take like four hours to render like a 10 minute 720p video. I mean, whatever. I, I can live with that. As I said, I'll just set it before I go to bed, you know, whatever. But okay, get it all exported, wake up in the morning, check the footage, make sure it exported properly. Well, it didn't because it was laggy. Like it was all nice and smooth, you know, normal, like freaking beautiful. And then all of a sudden it was just like four frames a second. Then it went back. It was. I was so confused, so I, I, I that's what kind of like pushed me over. I'm just kind of like, you know what? No, screw this. I'm going back to my regular editing software, so I don't have to deal with this because it's very, it's, it's very annoying. But yeah, as far as timeline looking of it goes, everything like that, it looks really decent. Like I'm happy with the look of the software. Uh, it works really well, like the little key bindings. Uh, I hate though, if I were to actually like purchase this software, maybe in the future. I definitely want to have a better computer, guys, because this one currently, in order for me to get the best results possible, I have to render out the timeline every single time I want to edit. So, not every single time, but if I want to apply any color correction to it, I have to render out the timeline. But once I render out the timeline, which takes about 45 minutes or so, then it's like, it's so smooth. Like, it's really, really good to, like, once I render it out, like, the performance of it is absolutely amazing. Definitely happy with it there. And also, I had a couple of, uh, issues with saving. So, I do Command S, you know, save. I manually save, and I think it auto save every, like, 15 minutes. So, one video that I was actually going to post, like, I I recorded it for a YouTube video, which kind of why I haven't been posting recently, because I, I told myself, till the, til the free trial is over, I'd use Premiere Pro, get to feel it a little bit, and, uh... Yeah, now I'm back to using my regular editing software, so thank the, thank the Lord for that. But, so basically, I was saved. I rendered out the timeline. It took like, I'm not even kidding, it probably took like six hours for that timeline to render out. I don't know what was happening. And what got me, it was a lower resolution than what I would normally edit at. Like, I normally edit at 1080p, but that was 720p, like, resolution, and it still took like three hours to render or something like that. So I get it all rendered. All right, set the render before I go to bed. No big deal. Wake up in the morning, turn on Premiere Pro. So I just render, so I'm okay. Command S, quit the program, shut down my computer, get ready for school. Get home to, st to actually start editing it because I only rendered out the timeline at this point. And then I it didn't save the fact that it rendered out the stupid timeline. So wasn't that impressed with it. Definitely not gonna spend the, either 250 up front or the $30 a month. Nope, I'm gonna stick with the one I have now. And in the future, if I get like a better computer of some sort, I want to try Final Cut Pro. But anyway, guys, that's going to end off this video here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Sorry I haven't been uploading that much. I only did like a Fortnite video once this week. And but that's because, as I said, I told myself I'd use Premiere Pro to edit my videos and wouldn't do the job. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.